America's most dangerous fault is likely to rupture in the next 30 years. This is by Joanne Kennel on the Science Explorer. Well, even Canada is warning her people that the West Coast could have a catastrophic earthquake, a huge major earthquake from the Cascadia subduction zone. But this has to do with, of course, the San Andreas fault line here. No, it's not the San Andreas fault, but it has to do with the area, which is riddled with fault lines people don't even know about. When people think of dangerous faults in the United States, the San Andreas Fault likely comes to mind, but despite its notoriety, there's nothing potentially, there's something potentially greater, another potentially greater threat located in the East Bay region of Northern California, and it's known as the Hayward Fault. The Hayward Fault is what could produce the greatest natural disaster ever to hit the United States. This is what geologists are warning about. Although the Hayward Fault is shorter than the San Andreas Fault, what it lacks in potential magnitude, it makes up for with proximity to major cities lying directly under structures where many people live and work. The San Andreas cuts predominantly through remote areas, whereas the entire length of the Hayward Fault runs through densely populated cities such as Oakland, which has a population of 406,000, Fremont population of 224,000 and Berkeley population of 116,000 and it's not far from the San Andreas Fault which has a population of 805,000 and San Jose population bigger 945,000. So you see here you have a population of over two and a half close to three million people. Given the Hayward's proximity to large populations its rupture presents a huge risk. In fact, the U.S. Geological Survey described the Hayward Fault as, quote, the single most urbanized earthquake fault in the United States, end quote. Signs of the fault are found across the state. Offset sidewalk curbs, cracked roads and homes, and even cracks in the University of California Berkeley's football stadium. And what's more, in 2015, the Working Group on California Earthquake Probabilities determined that there was a 72% chance of an earthquake occurring at the fault in the next 30 years, one that could measure a magnitude greater than 6.7. So they're giving it a 72% chance. And let's always remember, they're always conservative in their ratings. The last significant quake on the Hayward Fault was in October 1868. It was estimated at a magnitude 6.8, and according to a 2012 paper published in the Bulletin of the Seismological Society of America, James Lindkampfer of USGS and colleagues determined that the fault's recurrence interval over the last two millennia is about 161 years, plus or minus 65 years. Since the last quake was 148 years ago, the state is currently sitting within the range. So, in other words, it's a ticking time bomb and it's ready to blow. It's overdue, they're saying. The USGS led a, state, a study back in 2008 along with URS Corporation, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, Stanford University, and the University of California at Berkeley to create computer simulations of large earthquakes on the Hayward Fault. The computer simulations included a total of seven earthquake scenarios, three with magnitude 6.8 scenarios, with different starting locations, epicenters that is, three with magnitude 7.0 scenarios with different epicenters, and one magnitude 7.2 scenario. One of the 7.0 magnitude scenarios using Oakland as a starting point can be seen. The Hayward Fault has a potential for immense devastation, but according to Steve Newton, geology professor at College of Marine in Kentfield, California, many people are not really aware of the danger it possesses, and some do not even know where the fault is. Although it's only a matter of time before a large earthquake on the Hayward Fault happens, how governments prepare for it is crucial and will make a big difference in the aftermath of this inevitable natural disaster. But the science is clear. 
the Hayward Fault is going to rupture in the future, and when it will happen, it was, uh, it's unknown when, but it's uh, predicted to be quite soon. Unfortunately, the effects will be major shaking of infrastructure, loss of life and injuries, and economic damage. And the article appears in the June issue of Earth magazine. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.